Hi, and welcome to CEI in the News. Today is January 8, 2010, and this is a brief update on some of CEI's recent appearances in the media. I'm your host, Greg Conko, a CEI Senior Fellow. Starting us off, CEI President Fred Smith was invited to pen a January 3rd op-ed for the Washington Times titled, Change We Can Really Believe In. As we near the first year mark of Barack Obama's presidency, Fred argues that we should reject the status policies of 2009 and instead advance a reform agenda that restores our constitutionally protected freedoms, sort of a nationwide New Year's resolution to stop being bullied by the federal government. In a New Year's resolution of his own, President Obama promised that he will substantially lower federal deficits in the new budget year. That won't be easy, though. As the New York Times reports, the government has increased stimulus spending well beyond the original $787 billion package passed last February in order to cover programs like expanded unemployment relief. Maybe that's because the original stimulus not only failed to cut unemployment, it even managed to destroy many existing jobs. As CEI senior attorney Hans Botter points out in his January 3rd Opposing Views op-ed, the stimulus package has cost thousands of Americans their jobs by triggering trade wars with Canada and Mexico and by inflicting costly mandates on state governments. Big lesson from 2009, Mr. President? Centralized economies are hard to run. In environment news, CEI energy policy analyst William Yateman appeared on CNN to comment on debate at the Copenhagen Climate Conference in December. Here's the clip. The, um, is that enough to move this bill forward in the Senate? Uh, I doubt that. Um, uh, President Obama called this a meaningful and unprecedented agreement, but that's the same sort of diplomatic mumbo-jumbo that comes out of all these climate confabs. All they did was agree to continue um, to meet. There's, there's no, it's all sizzle and no steak. Is anyone else hungry? Cold weather from the Midwest to the East Coast continues to break temperature records this week. Here in D.C., we added about an inch of snow last night to the residue of December's record-breaking snowfall. Despite our usually mild winter weather here in the nation's capital, the Washington Post reports the snow will be followed by, quote, a surge of Arctic air, end quote, and we'll be lucky if temperatures climb above freezing all weekend. So the real question is, where's all that global warming when you really need it? On the health care front, the White House is pressuring Congress to pass a final version of the health reform bill before President Obama delivers his State of the Union address in late January or early February. In an op-ed in Forbes the last week of December, my colleague Henry Miller and I describe how elements of the overhaul will put government cost-cutting on a collision course with recent advances in personalized medicine. Both the House and Senate bills would create committees of Washington bureaucrats to determine which medicines, diagnostic tests, and surgical procedures are most effective for the broadest number of patients, and to recommend payment cuts for doctors and hospitals that prescribe too many of the wrong kind. In addition, the bills would affect strict new limits on the use of popular tax-exempt health savings accounts. As CEI's John Burlow told the Washington Times this week, Limiting the flexibility of these accounts will force many Americans to switch from low-cost, over-the-counter medicines to more expensive prescription drugs, driving health care costs up even further. So if you were looking for yet another reason to hate the health care bill, well, there you go. That's all we have for this week. Thanks for watching CEI in the News. If you've enjoyed this update, please subscribe to our channel. And remember, Links to all the stories we mentioned can be found in the description box on the right side of the screen. This week's CEI in the News is brought to you by The Frankenfood Myth and EcoFreaks, both available on Amazon.com.